Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here with Asheville Vending. Thanks for tuning in. Today's an exciting day because I just landed my second location. Um, I'll be placing the machine next week. So today I need to go over to Sam's and go ahead and buy the snacks for the machine. I've already made myself a list and I know exactly what I'm gonna go get. So I'll bring you guys along with me. And on top of that, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my newest tool. I think this is something that's super helpful that anyone that's in vending is gonna need. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and jump right over to it. All right, so here it is guys, a narrow and shorter pallet jack than normal. This thing is 36 inches long by 21 inches wide. Um, so this is gonna fit perfect for uh, all the vending machines and it's got a huge capacity. I'll never be lifting anything that heavy, but again, still, it's good to have a narrow set of pallet jacks. I got this one from Uline and this thing weighs in right at 109 pounds. Luckily, most of the weight's right here under the lifting mechanism, so I can still get up under that and lift it to put it in the back of my truck. And so that's super important if you get something like this. You wanna make sure that you're gonna be able to transport it and get it to where you need it. So this lever right here controls everything. It's in neutral right now, but if you wanna lift it, you just put it down and then begin pumping it. As you can see, everything's coming up off the ground. And then if you're gonna roll it, you don't wanna roll it in the pump position, you'll put it back into neutral. That way when you're pulling it around, um, you're not accidentally pumping it up any higher than it needs to be. And then once you're ready to go, you just pull it in. And once you pull it in, easy as pie, everything just drops down and you're good to go. Um, it says to store it in the down position. Make sure you go ahead and grease everything. I did find when they shipped this thing, it had a few different fittings on it that were not pre-greased. Um, there's some on the rollers down here as well. So if you do purchase something like this, make sure that you have a grease gun handy, um, keep it maintained. This thing was about $400, just a little bit more all in once you included freight. Um, but either way, it's a great investment if you're gonna stay in this business. Um, even if you use it two or three times a year, I think you're gonna thank yourself later. And while we're out and about today, I may just go ahead and bring this with me. So I'll load it up, show you how I'm getting it into the back of the truck and I'll visit my first location. I actually need to move that machine around just a little bit because where it's at when I open the door, it's actually bumping one of the trays when I pull it out. Um, it, it works, but I need to actually move it just a little bit. And again, they're so heavy, you can't really just scoot them around without messing up the floor. So we'll take this thing over there, um, check that out, show you how it works and how easy it is. And then uh, ideally what's gonna happen next week when the machine gets delivered, if the supplier is unwilling to bring it into the actual location, I'll have this on hand, ready to unload it and pull everything right in. But since I'm doing everything in my truck, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick this thing up and get it loaded into the back to show you how that that, that is feasible. Um, it's not the best way to do it, but right now it's the best way that I have available to me. Um, and again, I'm hoping not to use this thing, but probably two or three times a year anyways. So uh, I'll be careful with the lifting. Um, it may look unsafe, but that's the best we have. Okay, so here we are on location. All I'm gonna do is just give this thing probably four or five pumps, just enough to get the legs off the ground slightly, and then this thing's gonna be free to move. And that's super easy. Doesn't feel heavy at all. Just gonna move it just enough to where when I open the door and open the tray, I'll have enough room to service it. But if you're gonna be in this business, that's something I definitely recommend getting. That made this super easy. And when I get this second location up and running, uh, we'll use that to get the machine installed. And with every new machine comes a whole bunch of items that you're gonna have to buy for that. Um, don't underestimate this amount. Um, we haven't checked out yet, but here in just a second, I'll show you what our grand total is. You always wanna have a little bit of money put back um, to make sure you're able to cover the upfront cost of stocking the machine. And anybody that's watched my earlier videos is gonna know that we applied for the certificate of exemption, which right here will be able to do tax exempt on this purchase, seeing as how we're gonna sell the items and then pay tax on them later. And so here you go, here's our grand total of $366.27. And for now, that's all we gotta cover um, until the machine arrives, hopefully next week. Um, Pepsi machine is also gonna be getting installed. Uh, we'll have the NIAX card reader on that. And then we're gonna get our, our second location completely up and running. Uh, but until then, thanks for tuning in. Click like, click subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. All right, peace guys.